you can see my rig behind me and Christine's parked right next to me. What are we doing today, Christine? We're gonna install solar on top of Shutter Babe. So really excited about that. Okay. So this is what I've done so far. We kept the same frame that she had before that was set up to handle an additional 100 watt panel and screwed the 150 watt panel into it plus her original 100 watt panel and they're wired in series so she has 250 watts of high voltage because she bought an MPPT charge controller Yay. so I'm going to hand the camera off to Christine and she's going to film the rest of the work as we do it. And there's, there's Art. He's, we have to have Art in there, you know. A few of you already asked where he was. Here he is. <laughs> he is the great donator of the 150 watt panel too. Woohoo! Alright, looky here. Shuttle babies. So now, stage two. We're up on the roof, and Christine's right there. Hi, everybody! <laughs> Conquering her fears of heights. Oh, I've already got over that. You've taken me enough places to that that's nipped in the wood. <laughs> no problem with that anymore. <laughs> uh, look over there. Yeah. We can see my panels and how dirty they are. <laughs> well, we are in the desert. We have yep. sandstorms. Well, we are up on the roof installing her two panels. And I'm leaving enough room so that I can put a fantastic fan behind it. But we just noticed that we were going to put it in the center, the fantastic fan. But there's a metal beam running the whole length of this. So we're going to offset it slightly when we do that. So. I'm going to pass the camera off to Christine and she'll film me up here working.
doing the MPT. How, is it, how do you say it? MPPT? MPPT. Okay. We're, we're using that. A little fly is buzzing around me. We're um, hooking that up and we're also hooking the 1000 watt pure sine wa uh, wave inverter with wire. So that's what we're doing right now. And what gauge wire did I decide to go with? Oh my gosh, I forgot that part. What is okay. <laughs> well, I will show them if All we right. stand up and All right, let me... I'll show them. Okay. Get my border collie to move. JJ, yeah. come on. There's JJ. Come, JJ. Come down. You gotta show everybody. Come right here. Be careful. Be careful. There you go. All right. Okay. So I just decided to run because I had spare zero gauge wire to the inverter. But first we put a, a brick fuse in there so that if for some reason something goes wrong and she tries to pull too much power or the inverter goes bad or something catastrophic happens, that fuse will blow. And then we've got two more fuses. We've got a catastrophic fuse and also for the solar panels a fuse before it goes into the batteries. And these three will be just daisy chained together to the batteries and then everything else will run off to where they need to go. So that's what we're working on right now and she does have an electric heater right there mm -hmm. which we are also going to hook up to a switch it's actually already hooked up to a switch up front. And tell them what you did this morning. Ah, this morning I was trying to open up the door <laughs> and the battery, I'm not sure if I engaged the, uh, the front and the steering column wrong and let the battery drain. I'm not sure yet, but anyway. She didn't. I'm not sure what I did, but anyway, right now, battery power for the, for Shadow Babe is not there. <laughs> <laughs> she came with rotten batteries, so. Yeah, so anyway, we're, we're going to have to get new batteries. And how many batteries do you have to get for a diesel? Two. Why is that? Because of the power. The power that's needed for to uh, start them. Start them. Yeah, because they need the power. Yep. Alrighty, we will get back to work and show you guys when we are done. Alright. So, what we've done is we mounted her charge controller up here and now I've ran her battery positive and negative up and down and because it's such a long run I decided to go with four gauge because I happen to have it and in this case this long of a run really needs at least six gauge but because I had four we went with four okay. so and then I still got a driller hole. Probably going to drill it somewhere right in here. And come down through the roof. Batteries are all hooked up. I just got to zip tie some of these straggler lines. And we'll be ready. Okay. And she does have a temperature sensor on her batteries. which That's what this is right here. And I just got to fish it through here, here. Let's see if I can get it through there. I can. There we go. As everybody knows, I'm Mr. Picky when it comes to my wiring. Isn't that true, Christine? Yes, it is. <laughs> See the little clips that are holding all these wires? <laughs> I wouldn't even start doing this job until I had those. Yep. We true. made a special run to the store to get those. Yes, we did. Alrighty. And it does look neat and tidy and nice. So, yes. Okay. Fantastic. 